it's Becky and I am back with my last fitness and health video for the series. I started in January and I got a little bit behind this month so this is the last in the series. I'll link all the other ones below that I made. Um, but basically this video is so great. Now you lost a lot of weight or some weight and you don't know what to do next. So for me as of today I've lost 29 and a half pounds and three pant sizes which is really exciting. I never thought that I would get to this point. Not that I'm ever not that I'm done and like, I've arrived. But I mean, I never thought that I would get to this point. I made a video back in 2013 when I said that I, I needed to lose probably 15, 20 pounds. And I had no idea that I could lose this much and still feel like there's room for improvement. And so that's kind of the point of this video. And it's not to say you have to be a certain number, um, but it really is just what do you do when you've reached what you consider your goal weight and you've reached at what you know is a healthy weight for your height and everything which is where I am right now. I definitely do not want to, I'm not focused anymore on losing pounds, but now that I have reached the point that I am, I'm really interested in what can I do to still make improvements and to continue to, um, to keep a healthy lifestyle and keeping it interesting, keeping it fresh, and still having noticeable improvement in other ways, even if the number on the scale doesn't go down anymore, or even if it goes up because I'm building more muscle, which it will tend to do because muscle weighs more than fat, I really was kind of at the point like, what do I do now? How do I maintain? How do I continue to improve muscle? So that's what this video is about. Kind of what do you do after you've reached your goal, your initial goal of losing a certain amount of weight or reaching a certain size? How do you continue to improve even after that? So hopefully you'll find these tips and suggestions helpful. I am, you know, kind of going on this process. You know, these might or might not work for me. I'll be honest in letting you guys know later on down the road if certain things worked or certain things didn't. And that's what I have said before about any goal that you make. Always be prepared to adjust it because it might not work for you like you thought it would. But these are just the tips and kind of the game plan that I have set for myself. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys have any suggestions for me about any of these things and let's get started. So the first thing is really being aware of the fact that you can't spot reduce, but you can spot sculpt and spot tone. So like arms and you know, you can get more muscle mass and more tone and things like that in certain areas. So for me, the two areas that I wanna focus on right now are my arms and my inner and outer thighs. Um, I would say abs, that's, that's a big deal for any woman, especially I think if you've had kids, but I really don't, need a six pack. I'm not really worried about a six pack. It's not something I really, that's not even on my radar. Um, but basically my criteria for my stomach was to not have a muffin top, to not have love handles, and for it to be, you know, pretty flat. So that's, that is kind of where my goals were with that. And I have, for the most part, reached those goals. Now, obviously, having had two children, it's not exactly perfect in the way that I would want it. And I really don't know how I could get it any better naturally. I mean, I, I don't know... You know, so where I am right now, I'm pretty happy with. And it's not like I'm going to not stop doing ab exercises. I'm not. But I really want to focus right now on inner thighs, outer thighs, and arms. Especially because summer is coming up. And I tend to always wear jeans um, in the summer. And it's not just because... It, it was never just because of my legs being too big or whatever. Um, it's a lot to do with the fact that I'm extremely fair skinned. And so I just kind of felt a little self-conscious about showing my legs. But I really want to try to get over that. I mean, I'm, I'll be 35 this year who cares if my legs are white? They've always been white. They're always going to be white. I don't tan. So I really want to try to embrace that, but it would look nicer to have shorts on if I had more toned legs. So um, I do have naturally a more athletic shape to my calf. So that's not an issue really, but my upper thighs, I think everybody wants to work with those. So toning inner and outer thighs. And then for arms, I have always had way more muscle tone and muscle mass on the bottom half of my body and then my arms have always been kind of weak and no muscle tone to them at all. Even when I was like really thin in high school, still never had any muscle tone in my arms. So I really want to focus on that, getting those toned up really nicely and being comfortable enough to wear maybe even a tank top, which I have not worn out in public since probably mm, 13 years or so. I also want to continue working on my cardiovascular endurance, um, both with aerobics and mostly my running, running distance and my running endurance. And also to avoid burnout, I really want to continue to find new routines that I can use and, incorpor and incorporate into my existing routine so that I never plateau. Um, my body doesn't get used to doing the same thing over and over again. It keeps it interesting and I'm less likely to get burned out and just give up altogether. I've already done that to some extent by finding um, a lot of fitness blender workouts that I enjoy and I'll link them below. 
Um, and I really like some of their workouts, but I still want to continue to find more workouts that I like to keep it interesting and not do the same exercises over and over. I would also like to possibly get maybe a stability ball or even just a weighted ball to add more resistance to current workouts and then the new ones that I end up finding. This year I would also like to invest in a heart rate monitor that does not require a chest strap. That's one of my kind of requirements for it. But a heart rate monitor to really, really hone in on the calories that I'm burning when I do exercise because right now I'm exercising most of the time six days a week and that's not really a very realistic long, long term Thing for me to do at least right now at this point in my life. I have two small children, we're really involved in church and we homeschool, so I would like to not have to work out every you know six days a week. So I really want to be more aware of how many calories I'm actually consuming again and how many I'm actually burning. So maybe I can drop down to four or five days a week and that's more realistic for me in my life. I would also like to incorporate a lot more outdoor activities um, as part of my exercise. You know, hopefully sooner than later, summertime will be here and so I want to take advantage of that. I'm really bad about not playing outside um, not really doing any kind of outdoor activities. My kids will play and we'll take them to the park and I push the swings and things like that, but I really don't have an out outdoor activity that we do um, either with just me and the girls or as a family. So I really want to try to find some things that we can do outside that is exercise besides just walking around the neighborhood. Um, and kind of along those lines also this summer I would really like to try running outside because I've only ever run on a treadmill and I want to see what it's like to run outside with different elevations and different things, you know, the, the different aspects that come along with running outside. Um, I also plan to continue making healthy food choices and then improving upon those. So in my case, it would be bread. And I mentioned in my How I Lost 28 Pounds video, I did not ever intend to give up bread in order to lose weight because I knew that was not a realistic thing for me to do to keep up long term. And so I was trying to set myself up with for success by not denying my, myself these things that I knew that I would not give up for a long term, you know, period of time. So, but I would like to continue to limit it. I usually try to limit it to my lunch and then try to eat something that does not involve bread for dinner. But I want to continue to make healthy choices like that. And then I have also noticed that lately I've been really bad about picking off my daughter's plate. When she's done with her food at Panera, I tend to eat the crust of her grilled cheese sandwich. I need to stop doing that. So for the most part, that's all kind of my game plan that I have, I have lined up. And I'm going to take each one of these and kind of... Um, personally at home, you know, I'll get a piece of paper and I will kind of go through each one of these goals and make a couple different ways that I can reach those goals. So like for eating healthier, I'm going to try to find a couple new recipes to use right away that are healthier. And for the outdoor activities, I'm going to check out Pinterest and see if I can find like some family games to play outside and maybe something I can get, you know, some, I don't know, a croquet set or a volleyball net or something like that to to do outside. And so that's how I work with any goal like that. I make the goals and then go through each one of them and set the different little ways to reach those goals. So that's my plan. Let me know though if you all have any suggestions. If you have ever lost, you know, a certain amount of weight, you've kind of reached your goal weight, but you want to continue to improve, what do you do next? I'm really interested to hear what you guys would suggest. Please like this video if you liked it and you found it helpful. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <music>